I get asked this question all the time and it's where do I buy parts for my furnace or for my air conditioner? Now, I'm gonna show you a few places where you as a homeowner, as a DIYer can buy parts and save a ton of money instead of paying a contractor they're going to mark up that part. And then in addition to that, you're gonna to have to pay for the labor. So there's a lot of savings that can be involved here. Now the first and primary source that I typically recommend is going to be repairclinic.com. So what you'll need to do is you'll need to get the serial number or the model number off of your piece of equipment. You punch in that serial number for that piece of equipment and it gives you a list of all of the common components for that piece of equipment. So if we were looking for, say, a replacement blower motor for our furnace, we would simply scroll down through here until we saw that component. And the nice part about it is it has nice pictures so we can make sure that we're ordering the right part. Now, in some cases, we're not able to find that list of items for our furnace because it just doesn't pull up based on the model or serial number that we punched in. Now, let's take, for instance, this Tempstar furnace, our demo furnace here in the garage. And let's just say that we need to replace the inducer motor for this gas furnace. So we go to repairclinic.com, we type in the model number, nothing pulls up. We type in the serial number, nothing comes up. So then we're forced to look at the actual component and determine what number it is that we're after, whether it's a part number or some number on that motor. And sometimes this might take some trial and error we might try and punch in this right here, Y4L241811L, see what comes up with that. We might try this number here. Sometimes they don't say part number and then they have the part number. So we might have to try a few numbers here and odds are we can find a replacement component for this furnace. And the most success I've had is doing a Google search. So in this particular instance, we see a used uh, inducer motor on eBay we see another one on this other website here. And then we also see a brand new one here on Amazon. So different options there if you're looking to replace virtually any component on your um, furnace, as long as you can find some sort of number. Now, now, if we look here at the gas valve, we see a readout right here. We've got some part numbers there. So each of these components is going to have some sort of part number so that we can look it up and punch it in into repairclinic.com. So unfortunately, even if your equipment is under warranty, you as a homeowner can't simply waltz into a dealer for whatever brand that, uh, that furnace or equipment is and get a replacement warranty product. You would have to hire an HVAC contractor, pay the labor for them to get that free part and put it on. And a lot of times the labor is pretty steep so unfortunately that's not an option however you can still save a lot of money whether or not your equipment is under warranty you can still save money now one thing i want to mention here is if you're trying to be proactive and avoid getting into a situation where you need a part and you can't get it within that day or even a few days my advice is to consider what is the age of your hvac equipment whether it's your furnace or your air conditioner and think about certain components that could go bad. So for your air conditioner, if you've been watching our channel, you'll know that the capacitor is the number one thing that I recommend purchasing before it goes bad because it always goes bad on the hottest day of summer when all the HVAC companies are super swamped and you have to wait three days to get that part. So I recommend either getting the exact capacitor or getting one of these universal Turbo 200 capacitors and keep it in a safe place so that when it does go bad, you can quickly replace it and get your air conditioning back up and running. Now, in the winter months, it's the same thing. Um, take into consideration what the age of your furnace is. If it's older and you wanna kind of limp it along until you can replace it, maybe keep a capacitor for the blower fan. Um, definitely keep an igniter. Um, you can get those for relatively cheap, around $30, $40. Those are a pretty common thing. Even an inducer motor. You can typically get an inducer motor that's pretty cheap and just keep it in your garage or in a safe place so that in the event that it does happen, again, on the coldest day of the season or around the holidays, um, you will be able to fix that really easily and be in a better position than having to wait several days. So hopefully this has been informative for you as far as locating parts for your gas furnace or for your air conditioner. Hopefully it can help you to save a little bit of money in that regard. 
Now, if you're unsure and you wanna see if your equipment is under warranty, check out this video right here and we show you how to look up the warranty on any piece of equipment to see how long that is, if it's out of warranty or still in, and you can avoid getting taken advantage of by HVAC contractors. We'll see you on this next one and you guys be safe. Later.